What's up? I wanted to show real quick uh, why I didn't sell out Etienne today. I was talking about this for a few days and it would sell out because it looked loaded, like it would have a downtrend. Um, and as you can see today actually it reversed again, which I was hoping to. Like the this it's like a perfect example of how I see reversal days. It's like the the first pattern, the first two hours, everybody thinks um, it's going downward still, which was the general thinking, with a big drop at 10.45. Usually I see stocks having like big drops before 11 o'clock, hitting their lowest of the, day of the day or their highest for the day. This also applies in the other direction, of course. Um, and you can see that it tries to bounce back um, to the opening but it doesn't it bounces back so it's still thinking we're still thinking okay it's probably a bearish signal but when we see that the uh, when it tries to go for the bearish and break the lowest of the day it actually bounces back and has a nice climb to it next um, so this is like a real good indication of how a reversal day is in my eyes and it's also clear if you see here like every day it starts really low and it ends really low but throughout the day it really spikes a lot oh shit it really spikes a lot so um, when you see that uh, you see that there's like a mm, I'd rather do this in paint give me a second so what I was talking about is just like this trend of that is going up which was broken here this day um, so we thought it would go bearish then but I decide it's always important to keep one day after the thing you it breaks that you think uh, reverses the trend for you for your prediction um, so I kept this day it actually bounced back towards the end so I think okay this is a good sign and as you can see this actually for now we kn who knows where it ends today but it kind of looks good already um, it doesn't go below this this line this lowest of yesterday and also not below the lowest of today so this is like a really good indication that stock is again reversing trend and this is might might go up now finally let's hope for because I really kept this stock for a long time and I hope to get some better profits out of it than what I could have gained. Uh, yeah, but generally I don't want to hold turbo swing trading too uh, this long. So this is one of the longer ones. But generally speaking, you want to have a better buy-in moment, and then you also have way faster uh, potential return, which you can al already take some of the turbos out. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, kind of, it's kind of nice that the trend actually did what I thought. Well, the pattern reversed for now. So we'll see. Anyways, so this is kind of awesome. Um, as I said, I thought it. I thought it reversed today, and it actually did. So now it's giving out a bullish pattern again. The stocks are so volatile these days, so it's really difficult to get the overall trend, but luckily it seems I was in the right end. So I'll probably keep it for a, a couple more days, um, because I think it really will go to uh, 1350 or something, at least. Maybe tomorrow, maybe in two days or something, and hopefully I can sell them. Um, yeah, let's see. It's looking kind of good. There was like a big support line at 1310. And uh, yeah, we just took it in one swoop. I guess some high frequency traders or something like that. Anyways, looking hot. <laughs> I can sell my turbos already for quite a profit. Like, uh, 1.26 average uh, buy-in and it's 1.726 already so 
50 cents no a little bit less 44 cents each turbo so times 65 yeah let's let's check five times three, four, four. 28 euros yeah it's pretty nice already um minus eight euros and 20 euros it's pretty nice already but I hold them so long so I guess I'll have faith in them that they will rise more than this and I'll keep on holding them because yeah it's a pretty it's a good bullish sign but yeah it has bounced several times back and forth between the between the support and the resistance line so yeah I'm not too sure about like if it crashes tomorrow it crashes really hard so I will lose all my winnings then but yeah that's about that's investing right making risks anyways we'll see what happens so, yeah this is perfect like the the market closes at 17:30, like five hour 30 and then you have five more minutes for the last transactions to file up I like to fill in so we can see in the last five like in the last five minutes of transactions clearing the price spike to its all day high so this will give like a really bullish signal like a a hammer a bullish hammer so yeah this is a really good indicator i think i will be glad that i kept on my turbos today uh, tomorrow I will be glad that I kept on today. Anyways, we'll see, we'll see. Always seeing the potential, but yeah, I know how fast things can go wrong with some bad news or unexpected corona news or something. We'll see. Okay, so I've been talking about selling and Atien for like five episodes already, so... I definitely would not put this next episode out without uh, selling Atien in it. I've had the too long, it's a swing trade, so it's one of the longer swing trades. It's still a swing trade, but it's not uh, not the ones I'm really looking for. I would rather have like in the short term, one week or something, but yeah, this video I have to get, uh, I have to sell them. Otherwise, it's getting too too long without too many progress because it's really slow when I only have one stock because I uh, lost all my money in the beginning already. Anyways, see ya. Yo, apparently I did the whole take and I was still I was muted again, so I have to redo this. Um, so as you can see, I sold my Atian long. Um, I think for about 45 euro profit or something like that. I will s see it in a second when I calculate um, in the Excel file. And I also bought a, a new one, but I didn't buy, buy it with every, all the cash I have. So I still have some money left to look for a potential better one. Um, but this one is one I've been tracking for a few days already. So uh, let's check it out first. Um, d is like a company that makes car windows, so especially now with car sales rising again and good news about um, Tesla for example, like car companies are having good news. Um, this means that uh, yeah, people are more likely to buy cars and go riding again. So this is the company I was talking about, d um, Obviously as you can see it has tested a good support line a few times like here, here, and here. Um, so I'm pretty confident that this is a really good trend upwards going. Um, so I bought it in today around here. Uh, let me see if you, can you see this? Not sure if you can see, yeah, you can see it, okay. So I bought today uh, around here, about four, nine, four, forty-nine point four. sorry. Um, so I think it's a pretty good indicator that this is a this is doing what I want to do. Um, 
but as we can see now oh shit uh, let's get to just a new one okay so as we can see now the three indicators are also giving a good indication like the stock is not overbought it's going in an upward direction and uh, the MACD is also getting crossed in the perfect zone so these are three really good volume indicators of the stock so I think the first like I will write this down with the Excel file for now what indicators I see and how I trade on the indicators so I can maybe make some models of which indicators give me a good idea and also have good trades behind sites when I use those indicators so the first I'll, I think I'll use these three indicators in one point like this is all three for indicating how volume changes are people more buying and people more selling is stock really been bought too much over the, over the last time or is it really undersold or something so let's add these three like um, the CCI, RSI, MACD support the direction um, I'm thinking so the second uh, indicator that is being that we see here is it like multiple testing of the support of a support line that I drew. Um, so this is like a g really good indicator that the stock is going in the direction of the support line. Um, and then if we zoom a little bit closer, give me a second. Uh, let me pull this up. Okay. So. Oh yeah, I can drag this, that's nice. Okay, so if you look a little bit closer, uh, we see the five day moving average has been a really good, um, it's been a really good support, support line for the last days. So that's also a good sign because I really bought it against the support, uh, against the five day moving average. So this has been real good. Um, you see on really bad days, the 30, the, the, fi the 50 day moving average still uh, holds support uh, so yeah this is really good uh, this made me really make a quick decision when that, when we were here this morning around 10 or something 10 30 uh, that I would buy a turbo so I bought one with a stop loss at 46.36 or something like that so about here and this can give me plenty of room for if the stock like breaks the support line then I will sell out and I'll still have some money left of it uh, so yeah I think the three indicators that I'm seeing now and I'll see at the end of the day maybe I'll add one but um, for now uh, the VWAP and the 30 day moving average are not um, cro uh, yeah, crossed yet so we'll see if that happens in the next days and uh, if that happens that's a really good bearish signal also uh, bullish signal so that's why I made the D trend turbo call uh, the, with the other money I'm still d thinking about what I want to do so uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna invest it right away but I don't think so I'm probably gonna look for a more volatile company because D trend is not so volatile so um, I'm now looking for Abimbev, I think, but it's recovering already. But I think Abimbev has a really uh, solid buying moment if it like hits these these lows again and doesn't um, doesn't yeah break. Then I'm gonna buy in, I think. Um, but for the rest, yeah, I'll be looking at more volatile companies and maybe I can snipe a better a better one that really makes me. Uh, cash in a few days or something that would be more what I'm looking for I guess um, oh we didn't see that one oh, yeah so I'll show again quickly so I'll be maybe yeah still trading a bit sideways um, but if it hits these lows here again then I'll probably have a, mo a buy moment I guess so anyways I'll keep you updated I, I will make the calculation real quick and I'll update my Excel file so you can also see how much I actually made anyway spirit back here we at that uh, spreadsheet so I fulfilled I uh, for I fulfilled no let me get this 
I completed, yeah, I don't know the words, what I was looking for. Completed Atien, so I made about 45 euros profit, just like I thought. Um, let's finish up the rules first. So one is always trading with confirmation of the direction you're trading in. So this was good for Atien. Um, clearly, let's quickly get the charts uh, so you guys can also follow. So here we are, uh, we have Atien and I bought it here somewhere, I guess, in this zone. So, um, yeah, I think this was a pretty good moment to buy in, even though I had to wait a long time. Um, it was top side balling a band, crossing multiple times. Uh, and the five day average was a support line. So it didn't even have to test the VWAP. So this was a really good trade, I guess. Um, only thing I can say is I traded a out a little bit too fast maybe, but yeah, it's really difficult in the beginning to know where you want to go and when you want to sell out. Um, indicators were good, I guess. So this would be, um, let's see. This would be a zero on the loser scale, of course. Um, the rule number two was bowling and bands are good in KDM. Yeah, multiple bowling. Yes, okay, this was also good. I used the bowling and bands, so this is good. Never buy too aggressive is was rule number three. So um, I also did this one good. Uh, yeah this was good I had a good stop loss this was also rule 3 I uh, know the company we're investing in follow the news I was pretty closely following it with Atien and Wirecard and stuff so I think I have this good uh, this was a not a cyclic company so this will give a 1 of the, on the loser scale because like I was talking before it's dif more difficult to establish support and resistance lines and know where to buy and sell off um put in the time i definitely put in the time for this one i was checking constantly because it was my last trade uh seven know when you want to buy in certain stocks I always wait a day for confirmation um yeah this was a fear of missing out trade so this is definitely a one and don't make too big of stakes, max 20%. This is also one because, yeah, I don't have much money left. So, the profit loss too was when I would make a loss. One is when I would gain nothing or a slight loss or a slight win. But I guess this is a really good win, so I'll definitely give this a zero. So, I think this is the first trade that I actually am not a loser on. So, I'm kind of happy when it worked out this way. Um, this is my first good trade, I guess. I had really iron hands, I hold them long, and yeah, it was difficult not to sell them off sometimes, but I'm happy I did. Uh, so for the next thing, I'm gonna also begin adding um, which indicators I'm, I'm seeing. So for now, the, the D-Trim one, um, I saw seven times that my support line was being tested. Uh, the, the boat volume indicators suggest an uptrend, which is conform. Um, this ha this is in the lower bo lower part of the Bollinger Bands, and the five day moving average was acting as a support. So these two I will still have to see, and probably other indicators that I come up with later are also being added. But for now, um, I saw those for especially. So that's it. that is it for this episode, I guess. Um, thanks for watching, if anybody ever watches this, uh, because <laughs> for now I think it's still pretty underground, I would say. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have a nice weekend and remember, always enjoy good life and stay hydrated i don't know why i said that but anyways so before i wrap up this episode i actually bought um another turbo 
as you can see kind of bought it bit bad timing but I think it will bounce back so as we can see steadily going up it has a big spike because of good news of course um, but as you can see it has been recovering quite nicely so this is a good one 1.34 I like this um, so yeah Oof. Jesus uh, obviously not the best time I could have bought let's see how much I bought it for uh, 0 0.65 and yeah it's now already dropped anyway I think this still is a good buy so this is because I have a few other um, obviously I've been also tracking this one this is one of my favorites so far my favorite um, stocks I've been using this one so long I've been following it so long and I made my first money on this stock so I'm actually quite familiar with this one um, let's see if you can see it yeah okay nice um, so let's see it has bounced like it's a good support line here that I've been drawing for a longer time so it hasn't been even close to this one uh, MACD, CCI and RSI are also saying same thing that it's uptrend um, this is a really bullish indicator if it's that if it keeps because this is uh, 50 minutes before so the big drop that we saw last has uh, still has to reach a uh, register um, but if it doesn't cross or it, if it doesn't close underneath a 355 uh, 0.5 then I'm still good um, so in the last days it has been tested against the VWAP it has rejected it has now the five day moving average as a support line and it's in the top side of the Bollinger Band, so um, these are all pretty good indicators for me. Also, um, yeah, it still has higher highs e every time, so hopefully this one is higher high until probably like 40.5, where I'm looking to sell off, I guess. Um, but anyway, looking kind of good for now. I could have bought it in a little bit later as you see as you saw when there was a drop again um, but for now we'll go with this one also so two stocks now um, yeah this is for next week I guess this is on a Friday buying not the smartest idea but I think overall there can't go too much wrong I have pretty so strong support lines and let me check real quick the support uh, the stop loss of this one uh, 33.475 so yeah that's underneath underneath the 30 day moving average and underneath the VWAP so if the VWAP gets crossed I'll probably sell out um, but for now it's looking kind of bullish anyway this is the episode for this week um, see you next week